Welcome to the course Complete Design of G Plus 3 Story RCC Building as per Indian Standard Course. This is your instructor Akshay Thakur for the course. So in the course, you will learn the complete analysis and the design of RC structure, use of Indian Standard Course, software training for the ETAPs, important aspects in civil structure and earthquake engineering. We use the ETAP software for the analysis of the building frame. Whereas the analysis checks as per the Indian standard codal provisions of IS 456 2000 and IS 1893 part 1 2016 will use the Microsoft Excel sheet. Whereas for the design of structural members, we also use the Microsoft Excel sheets. So, in the course, first of all, we will calculate the preliminary section sizes with respect to the IS 456 2000 and IS 1390 2016. And in the way, we'll first of all convert our architectural plan into the structural framing plan to draw our structure in the computer software ETAS. Whereas in our whole course, we'll use these Indian standard codes that is IS 456 2000 for the concrete design, IS 875 part 1 for the consideration of the dead loads, IS 875 part 2 for the consideration of the live loads, IS 875 part 3 for the calculation of wind loads, IS 875 part 5 for the design load for the combinations and IS 1893 part 1 2016 for the seismic analysis whereas we'll use the IS 1390 2016 for the ductile design detailing whereas we'll see SP16 codal provisions for the reinforcement detailing. So in the computer software ETAS first of all we'll draw a grid then we'll define the material and section properties. After defining the material and section properties we'll draw the column first then we'll draw the beams then we'll draw the slabs then we'll draw the staircase in the way, we will complete our modeling of structure. After modeling the structure, we need to define the loads over that. As we calculate the loads as per the Indian standard that we need to apply over the slabs and the beams. So over the slabs, we need to apply the superimposed end load and the over the beams, we need to apply the wall load. After applying the superimposed end load, we need to apply the live load as per IS 875 part 2. After applying the live load, we need to apply the wind load. So here we are calculating the wind load manually as per IS 875 part 3 2015 and after calculating the wind load manually we will input the wind load as the user load in the ETAPs. So in the way we will apply the wind load and with the help of software ETAPs we will apply the earthquake load in respect to direction with respect to the eccentricity as per the codal provisions and the location of the structure. After application of the loads we need to define the load combination. In real life, the loads acting on the structure in the combination. So, Indian standard code gives us the load combination for the reinforced concrete structures in the IS 456 2000. So, with respect to that, we need to define the load combinations and for ease, define the envelopes for the design load combination and the service load combination. After defining the load combination, then we'll analyze our structure. After analysis of our structure, we got the axial forces, shear forces, and the bending moments. And also we got moments for the slab section. So with respect to these analysis data, we can easily design our structure. But after analysis of our structure, we'll check our structure with respect to the codal provisions of Indian standard, such as for the story drift limitation, for the torsional irregularity check and the lateral switch check with the help of Microsoft Excel sheets. So these are the sheets which has the set formulas so that you need to only import the data from the ETAPs to the Microsoft Excel and then sheet will tell you your check is satisfied or not that is ok or fail. In the way we will analyze our structure and after satisfying the analysis check we will design our structure in the ETAPs to check there is any member which is failing or not. After designing the structure in the ETAPs we are going to design the structure by the manual calculations as per the codal provisions of Indian standard because the understanding of the design procedure is very important as a structural engineer or a design engineer. So we'll first of all design the one isolated footing by the manual calculation and similarly with the help of Microsoft Excel sheet by inputting the analysis data we'll design all the isolated footings for our structure. Similarly we'll do for the columns first of all we'll design the one column with respect to IS 456 2000 and SP16 and then we will design all the columns at all floors with the help of Microsoft Excel sheet and in the way we will complete our design for the columns. Similar the thing for the beams and slabs. We can also design the staircase as we design our slab. But for your clear understanding I will design the staircase by manual calculations. That we will also see as per the codal provisions of Indian standard. 
we'll see the ductile detailing as per the IS 13920-2016. And at the end, I will give you some bonus tips that help you to improve your skills in the design of RC structures. So in the way, we'll complete our course. So keep watching and happy learning.